Hey everybody, it's Stacy Gregg with Keizu Keto. Coming in a little late. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, sort of. On time, but late because we didn't have a Carboholic does keto two weeks ago, like we normally do. Um, it's just been kind of a, everybody knows it's been a meh 2020. Meh. And it's just been a meh September. And we kind of forgot, actually. Good weather. That's about the only positive part. Yeah. And that's about the end. So we figured, hey, let's do the video on the high note. Yeah. So September, end of September makes it how many months? 12 and 9 is 19 months. 12 and Math 9 is, is 21 months I am... for all of us here in planet Earth. <laughs> I'm struggling today. I woke up this morning with a lot of sinus and allergy issues and my brain is only half working. Which um, means only a quarter overall. So 21 months, which means it's almost two years, which is kind of insane. Yeah. Um, the, but it is like 91 weeks or 636 days. And this is all for me. You've been here yeah, about three weeks ahead of me. 15 days. Getting straight into our numbers. I'm still in that 10 pound range that I keep going from anywhere from closer to 10 pounds to my lowest because my lowest was 198 which actually I say 10 pounds but I actually haven't gotten back up to 208 I think 207 is the highest I've gotten mm. um, so anywhere from 198 to 207 since February today happens to be 204 which puts me in an 89 pound current loss instead of 90 or 91 or 92 where it's been mostly ranging so it is what it is it's I haven't gained, I've been able to maintain the weight loss, so I'm happy with that and I'm more focused on trying to stay mentally happy, mentally healthy and happy um, rather than keeping the weight loss going, which, which I mean, would be awesome. We've been continuing to be keto, it's not like that's changed, it's yeah. just less, you know, more dirty keto and less concerned about the number at the end of the day right yeah so i haven't been tracking my carbs for months months and months still eating keto foods but yeah and generally speaking friendly. you know you still limit your meat meals a lot maybe eat a lot of animal products which doesn't have carbs but some dairy but mm -hmm. so most days well, she's well under 20 carbs it's just occasionally she'll overindulge in like lilies or some other um well look what we got here so, you know, those types of things. We'll talk about this stuff in a minute. Yeah, it'll stay. Um, but yeah, so that's really anybody that is struggling right now and feeling bad about any weight gain or weight maintenance. Keep going. Yeah, just, just keep doing you. Just keep your mental health where it needs to be. Uh, because someday this is all going to be over and, you know, We'll be back to our regular stresses. Regular schedule <laughs> stressing. Which, you know, like right now mine is work again because we're coming up on our busiest time. Mm -hmm. And we decided that we're going through yet another software conversion. Did the same thing last year about the same time. It's fun. Yep. We won't go into that. Just know that it causes me a I lot of- I was trying to do like get her off that topic before she completely <laughs> goes down. It basically. just, I'm just trying to explain. It's just, it causes me a lot of grief in the sense that I don't want to shoot videos. Mm, I don't want yeah. to edit videos. I don't want to be on social media. I'm not sleeping the greatest. Yep. So I'm tired. <laughs> Which makes so a lot of sense. That's right, guys? why a good, good portion of the reason, I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say. Good reason. You got what I'm saying that I'm, we haven't been putting out videos. We do still have the cookie recipe video that we are going to shoot this week. Yes. Yes. So for those of you guys who are just joining us, welcome. Greg, yeah. Stacy. We've been in a weight loss journey for about, what did we say? 21, 21 months. months. <laughs> yeah. So in this video, what we generally do is we talk about our numbers. We, we test our ketones and our glucose and our blood pressure because those are all the challenges that we kind of faced. And then we also try to slip in a couple product reviews every once in a while too. Yeah. So, um, if you're interested, but but if you're interested in the product reviews, these come at the end. First of yeah. all, we talk about our experience first. So. Right. Now that you so, guys are caught up. 
back to the numbers. 293 is what I started, 204 is what I was today, so 89 pound weight loss. Um, blood pressure was 105 over 59 this morning. Glucose was 85 and ketones were 0 0.2, which is standard. Pretty much where they've been for the last seven months. That's Stacy. 0.1 to 0.4. Is it really seven months since you've lost really like weight, weight? Yeah. Wow. Crazy. I know. That's why I'm like, uh, whatever. I'm gonna I'm have a, to rename this to I'm Carbaholic. Keep doing Still what I'm doing, doing keto. Because. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. You know, if you go back to my highest weight of 308 pounds, it's still over 100 pounds lost. Don't mind the dog hacking. He's probably chewing on a stick and decided to give up. No, it was probably leaves. Could be that too. He very much likes to eat leaves. Are you alright, bud? Seems to be fine. Yep. So, it's still 100 pound weight loss for my heaviest. Anyway. Which is great. Now you've been maintaining, so... I mean, it's not like you've been, like maintaining keto like you've just been doing keto and it's just so what that says though is that at the moment we were talking about this a few minutes ago about Erilyn is that if you stop doing keto the weight's probably gonna come right back on right I don't know that for a fact with her kind of not really chatting all, all that much because we kind of have different schedules mm -hmm. but but yeah so my daughter was started keto this year did it for eight months <laughs> Hey. Eight months, and then like got her her goal, and then like she's been kind of introducing things back in, and kind of flip, you know, it's, she's still mostly keto, I think, mostly most of the time, and she says she hasn't gained any, but I'm not sure she would tell us the truth anyway, so we'll, we'll see. Let's I don't go. know. There's a lot of canned soups in the cupboard. A lot of canned soups. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my BMI from my highest was 50.9, and it is now as of today, it's 32. So that's a pretty good. That's cool. Um, uh, success and like um, example of change, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I, I think the weight, my, no, my the weight and the word. inches. You have inches, right? Yeah, my inches. We're not strong believers in BMI, so yeah, you know, the, the, if you the, are, change. then let us know what your thoughts are. But but still, I think most people you know, don't really like. Go dropping like almost twenty points mm -hmm. is quite a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, but the inches, yeah. you know, that's what they say. If you don't see a lot of movement on the scale, track your inches, of course. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of movement in inches either. I get some things that go up from one month to the next because we do them monthly and at the end of the month. So this is the end of the month. This is an inches update. Um, some things go down. So I had one thing go down and two things go up. So I am still at 51.6 inches lost since February of 2019. Um, and, and they I moved around say, a little bit too, right? Yeah. yeah. I forgot to say earlier that um, I started January of 2019, January 1st. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my numbers. I'm going to flip this over to you. Sweet. Right. You can talk about your numbers. So, I started a couple weeks earlier than Stacy. Um, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that Stacy had a couple mac and cheese hurrahs there before I, I don't know, know why this is just why? jealousy just, just it's jealousy, jealousy that she was mac and cheesing it like three times <laughs> between the 15th and the end of the month and I was getting my stuff in order yep. and I feel like this is like caramel coming back to haunt her now that I'm still continuing losing no. but anyway so 91 weeks so I had three to that it's like 94 weeks for me I started at 371 um, and I was actually heavier than I actually started because I started doing low carb before that and I was like I, I was over four at one point guys so 371 is when I started to like pay attention and see where my journey left um, and now today I'm at 214 um, which is lower than last month so I think the 29th of August uh, is when we did the last carboholic I think keto. you were like 215 or and two. I was 217 something oh, so 217. it's like three pounds in a month which is not terrible no, because we're, we're in it long enough now yeah. that the weight loss definitely yeah. slows down. Absolutely. It's not like you're going to see three pounds in a week anymore. Right. Yep. So so I'm happy with that. Now, I will tell you that I've been a little lower than that, like, but kind of did a low, did, did a low, not intentionally, but I had like chicken last night. And so at times also that'll affect me. And we also had one of those little sparkling cider too. So I had a little alcohol. So I think that's a good portion of that, like why my body is the way it is. Not that one day constitutes any of that but generally what happens is when we've been tracking this it's a very noisy bird 
we've been tracking this, uh, our body seems to fluctuate. So why we track ketones, glucose, and blood pressure is that specifically with the weight loss, I can kind of see when a weight loss is about to happen because my ketones numbers kind of spike and I'll start seeing that on those Sundays. So now I'm kind of back into that more like normal state, which is 0.3. My glucose uh, was, I don't see it on here anywhere, but I think it was 92 or 94, 94. My glucose was 94. Um, total inches lost was 63.4, which is awesome. 157 yeah, like pounds. Yeah, inches lost in the last few months have like skyrocketed. Yeah. That's a lot because I've been doing more, I've been more active, more exercise. Mm -hmm. So not like high intensity workouts or anything, but no. I've been getting outside, been walking more, been using my muscles more. Cause golfing, I, golfing a lot. Yes. Lots but also golfing. other stuff. But, um, so yeah, so that's big, been a big, big factor for me. And I think that's, I mean, I gained weight, I gained inches in my thighs, um, but I lost inches in my arms. Um, everything else kind of stayed a lot the same, but I still lost some weight. Um, so it's kind of interesting how that kind of pans out. But um, Stacy mentioned the mental health. That's been something that's been very helpful for me to get outside, get mm -hmm. away from the house. Especially because I work at home like 99% of the time well, we both before now. COVID. So oh, yeah. like, you know, it's been very helpful to sort of get that going. Um, but yeah. Uh, and, you know, kids starting school and all the mental pieces to that. So, you know, in all honesty, I could have probably been lower than 214. I haven't been fasting like I normally do when, I, when I'm aimed for success uh, and discipline. So, um, and that's a couple different reasons, but mostly mental health, like just, um, you know, the, the food going into the face, that, that situation. Although I think I'm probably quite a bit more disciplined than Stacy is when it comes to like fasting meals. Um, yeah, I just don't care right now. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> All I want to do is just keep chewing. Right. Chew, chew, chew. And you found a sub substitute for chips and stuff that you normally would be chewing. Like football season like would be one of those situations where you're always like pretzels, pretzels, pretzels. Right? Yeah. I remember buying the Costco big tub of pretzels and Stacy mm -hmm. would have them gone in a week. Yes, and my substitute is really crispy turkey bacon. Yeah, turkey bacon. Which, I mean, it's great for like being keto and everything and obviously very low carb so that's good but um but it does she does eat probably more of it than she should because that becomes a substitute but that's kind of where our journey is like i said stacy's is kind of you know like it's plateaued right it's 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 in a stall but it's in a it's in an aware she's in an aware state of the stall yeah and you know like she mentioned mental health is a is a major factor there um and i and she kind of said this the best but i've continued to do this stuff because it's the one semblance of control that i probably still have over my current life right mm -hmm. um because of all the chaos because of all the chaos the you know like we get accustomed to one thing and then the change the routine changes again and accustomed to another thing and it changes again you know our kids are in virtual school but I have two kids that have a in-person presence required for like one has an EFE, one has the uh, college classes and he doesn't have his license because of the COVID stuff. And so like trying to manage all of that and still do a full-time job and you know, I mean, it's... For anybody it's that doesn't know what EFE is, it's Employment for Education. It's yeah, it's... The a, program that the high school does to get the kids kind of like the skills that they could use for yep. a job outside of school. Yep. So... so like you know when when the kids do the cosmic like emily did the like, cosmetology. Yeah, emily did cosmetology my brother when i was in high school or when we were in high school my brother did construction and yep <clears throat> good good skills uh, but you know they both have an in-person part to it as well um but their school their education is still virtual right now whether mm -hmm. it's in person or and that's michigan michigan's a little probably tighter than a lot of places but um but yeah so that's that's the deal so then our overall inches lost is... that what is, it says, right? 115? Yep, 115 between the two of us. And 246 pounds lost. Yep. So, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. So, way to go, team. <laughs> <laughs> this part, we're going to talk about some stuff. So we found, we found the keto buns at Costco, which are very fibrous. 
so we're gonna have burgers tonight so we'll have a couple clips of that but they look pretty good um i and that's a, probably one of the big things that stacy does i kind of forgot already that we had those. <laughs> that's one of the things that stacy kind of does a little bit more than i do is she kind of indulges in a little of those dirty keto things like you yeah. know the, the buns the bread she, her her passion is the aldi sandwich because it's convenient it's easy and she can just eat it like at her desk and like do her thing um, I'm still more traditional in the sense of I'm not as I guess you could call it as dirty like the wheat stuff I the fiber I kind of I try to steer clear a lot of that so I think when she gets ready for it she starts cutting those out yeah. quite a bit more she'll probably drop <clears throat> I've been given thought to cutting those out I actually have been trying to cut back on um, like the lilies and yeah. the um, ice cream yeah it's also expensive so it's right convenient. that too so anyway, we, we we have the buns. So we're gonna show you a picture of one of our burgers that we made tonight. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I don't. You're not excited about the amount of fiber that's in. No, I'm not because um, I bloat. Like most people bloat. I don't know how this one does it. She she can have like 100 grams of fiber a day and like just retain water and she's fine. Blows my mind. Me, I eat two slices of bread, have 20 grams of fiber, and I'm like, I need to get poop. It's it's backed <laughs> up, and it's it's just it's just it's totally turtling. We found a couple things. We found the buns at Costco. We mentioned that, and then we also found these Choc Zero Choc, Choc XO, XO. Uh, chocolate keto snaps. They call them. Uh, they're basically like little keto bars. We'll show you a picture of what they look like, but um, they're they say keto. Uh, they should say dirty keto because there is sugar in this, right? There's not a ton of sugar. It's three grams for two of them. Um, and as Stacy and I were kind of talking about, you can get away with just one. Like if you just need this, like a sweet treat or something, like one does the job. Mm -hmm. um, so dirty keto, but their macros are good. So 15 grams of fat, um, three grams of protein. And there's three total carbs. That's two. This is three. Three total carbs. I have a, this is a- Six I total carbs. Didn't, didn't, three net carbs. Yeah, six total, three dietary fiber, three carbs, right? Um, and that's for two of them. So they're, you know, decent sized. It's and like, they're what, like it, 10 something a package? It's like half a Lily's bar, right? Maybe oh. just not quite, not quite half. No, no Lily's it's, is like- It's pretty close. It's about like four two ounces or something like yeah. that well that's just 28 grams how many ounces is that <laughs> anybody um so yeah so they say you know keto friendly and all that jazz and everything is organic so that's good um but they, they're they're pretty good you can definitely tell they're sugar they're if sugar you're not milk. a dark chocolate fan you probably won't like them though that's probably true yeah. uh, i don't know they're they're sweet enough. that's that's it, something that you know over the course of the 21 months that i never really i liked dark chocolate but i definitely didn't prefer it <clears throat> and now I prefer it like taste buds have definitely changed I think the sea salt in it also makes a big difference it also yeah. has coconut and almonds in it too so like there's a lot of keto stuff that's, that's involved so like I said the one thing is that there is some organic cane sugar that is in there but. yep and then the other thing we need to talk about is these I yeah. don't know if anybody else has tried these but they are uh, the brand is called love good mm. fats and they have um, these bars they reached out to us and asked us if we would do if we were interested in setting up an affiliate and if we would do a review so they sent us these bars to try out because we told them that we weren't comfortable telling people hey go buy this right. without us even trying them so yeah. we are going to bust them open right now and try them there's okay there's a lot of flavors in here oh, that's cool. holy crap we're not trying them all no, well, what's your most prominent one? Let me see. Uh, look at that. I just pulled out chocolate chip cookie dough. So there's mint. <laughs> I won't be trying that. Cookies and cream. Salted caramel. That sounds like up my alley. Not me. Dark oh, so these chocolate, are sea salt, and almond. That sounds pretty good. That's got like nuts on it, and this one's more like a okay. protein bar type Salted, thing. Salted. Yep. So there's different types of bars in here. Peanut butter chocolatey? Is that what you. Nuts. Yep, that would be me. That would be you. I would eat this though, too. Coconut chocolate chip. I could eat that. Lemon mousse flavor. Ooh, that sounds good, too. All right. I'm going to try all these right now. No, of course not. I'm just looking at all the flavors. This one says rich chocolatey almond. 
So there's there's a lot of different flavors in here. There really are. I thought it's there like there's would a be couple like... that have two of them. Like this is two salted common. This is a coconut chocolate chip. This is dark chocolate sea salt and almond. This is like almost like the same as that. Let's yeah. see how the macros. The macros any different? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, a little bit different. This is five net, I believe, for this one. Yep. So all of them are a little different. We'll we'll put out we'll put a link like all of them like with the different flavors and then the um car the net carbs for each of them um on this on the screen so you guys can see it. There's a lot of ingredients in this though. Um, Same five. They, nothing like completely That's cool. crazy. Uh, just looking at this, it looks like there's a fair number of um, the normal things that you would see, you know, chicory root fiber, although I'm not sure what a farva. Farva? Farva? Is it farva or farva? Farva bean protein isolate. Farva bean. Yeah, okay, and there's tapioca starch in it too. So and a nice to Chianti. But yeah, so we'll, it says one gram of sugar, so I mean, that's, that's good. Nothing. Was. Totally just threw a movie quote at you. Yeah, I don't. If you got that movie quote, put it down below. Show Greg up. No, whatever. So, which one did you pick? I don't know. I was just. I mean, I pulled out the chocolate chip cookie dough, which we all right. know I love the chocolate chip so cookie dough. So, for those, I'm going to try this salted caramel flavor, and it's got 15 total carbs, 11 fiber. Man, I can already tell tomorrow is going to be a bloat day. <laughs> Between the buns and this, uh, geez. Uh, Zero sugar alcohol, which is interesting. It's using something other than erythritol. Stevia, okay. So, uh, anyway, four net carbs, one total sugar. And it's probably from the starch stuff, but. I feel like these are more of a dirty keto option. Yeah, they're thir 13 fat and eight protein. So, macro is not as. Is, because uh, I say that because this this is the chocolate chip cookie dough and it's uh -huh. got like um where did it go? So they look pretty good though. It's got cane sugar, um, soluble corn fiber. Yep. Organic whole grain brown rice flour. I mean, this is kind of like a meal almost, like like grab and go kind of deal, right? Like a protein bar. 190 calories. Well, what is how many? So it's it's tacky, which means it's, like, it's got that. You know. These have been in the fridge too. Oh, have they? Okay. Yeah. Supposed to refrigerate. Because when they got well, when we got them, they said to refrigerate it. So oh, I put it okay. in the fridge. And right there, it says keep me cool. Keep me cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna try mine. I don't think Are you yours, ready to try yours. I don't think yours has that, but no. these have it. So like these ones that look like protein bars. No, oh, they won't be. I'm thinking they they need to be refrigerated. All right, I'm going for it. No. It looks like a candy bar. There's no hiding anything with Stacy. Her <laughs> face says everything. Something weird happened. If Lily's can do it. Mm. Why can't everybody else? What is it? It's the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It tastes like diet chocolate. This isn't bad. I think you actually, no, I think you actually might, wouldn't hate this. She doesn't like caramel at all. I don't really get a caramel. It kind of reminds me of those granola bars that we that you used to think they were healthy for you because it had all the nuts and stuff on it, but it was covered in sugar, so it was terrible. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Try it. I'm kind of curious how this is supposed to be chocolate chip cookie because it's like it's got little rice kernels in it, and I don't remember seeing anything about rice kernels. So rice it kind of has the, the texture of the protein bar, right? Well, it's got crunchies, which makes it better. Right. I smell the caramel. I mean, as far as protein bar goes, it's not, it's not terrible. But I like the salt in this. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of caramel, but I would actually eat that. Right. I like that better than this. Right. I think it's nuts. Like, the nuts really make it, like... It reminds me... The Special K bars are the ones that I used to get all That's the time. Yep, yep. And I used to love the crap out of those. They had the pretzels and the nuts and the chocolate and the peanut butter. Love the crap butter. out of those. You heard that here first. <laughs> I don't really want to finish this. Probably could. I'm going to go to this. I'd rather eat this than that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat that. I mean... It's, it's, not, not, it's not inedible. She doesn't like those types of things, though. Yeah. Like, the flavors... I don't really get the flavors. I don't get cookie dough. But it's kind of like, it's kind of like a Quest bar. Like it isn't. It's interesting they require a refrigeration. Oh, you hey. definitely hit the nail on the head. It's like a Quest bar. But. And I am not. I'm not a huge fan of protein bars. Like I keep trying them, mm -hmm. cause I'm like one of these days I'm gonna find something I actually mm -hmm. like. The only one I actually can tolerate. Is the birthday cake flavor from Quest? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't hate it, but I'm kind of more of a Whole Foods kind of guy, so I might throw that in my golf bag if I needed something. But I mean, I'm on keto and my body's in ketosis, so I really don't need anything, guys. I'll be fine until I get home. But if I do, you know, these are these are kind of a good option. It does have 14 grams of fat versus 7 grams of protein, so it is good as for keto as for far macros, as that goes. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably interested in trying this one too. I mean, I'm definitely interested in trying the other flavors. Well, this, and I, yeah. Maybe we should do like a review for all of them or something like that. I don't know. God, that's a lot of fucking... Well, it would have to take a quarter. Excuse and, my mouth. Yeah, wow. i would be all like over the course of a few, a few days. Like, it wouldn't be... Like, oh, hey, what's for dessert tonight? We're going to try another keto bar. Or, I'm sorry, a love good fats bar. Um, or whatever. Yeah. I mean, because one thing they do do is they do, they do do, do they do. do do. One thing they do is they, they provide that little bit of sweetness that sometimes we require. Now, the only thing with this is, is that they don't have any of the normal, like, sweeteners that we're used to. A stevia. So... I do find myself when I have been eating too much of the sugar alcohols or stevia or things, as I start to crave it a little bit. Like, not like sugar, but like, I kind of want to have that little mental reward of having something sweet, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's the one thing you have to kind of be careful about. And as long as you have that discipline down to say, okay, well, I don't have it, I'm good and moving on. You're good, but if you are interested in trying these, um, I wanted to wait to talk about the affiliate link until we tried them, because I the quality of this one definitely good. I have a feeling that this one will also be really good because it's got the nuts. Yeah. Um, and you know, we'll we'll try the rest of these and we'll keep recording clips of them and and our thoughts and yeah. and let you know what we think of them. Put out a, a video later on, but. Um, in the meantime, if you're interested in trying them, um, we have a link to the website down below in the description box. And if you use Keizu Keto at checkout, you do get 20% off. Nice. And of course, you know, it also, we do earn a little bit of a commission from that, which doesn't cost you anything extra. extra nice. But, you know, it just kind of comes back to our channel and helps support our channel. If you, if you have space in your keto diet for Quest Bars or stuff like that, this is probably a pretty good option for you mm -hmm. to check out. Um, if you're more like me and you don't, then you could probably give it a pass, but, you know. But yeah, it's definitely, um, it's definitely good. Alright, well, that was exciting. Ish. Yeah, low energy today. Like. And she actually had a better girl score than normal too, so yeah, she should be out like on top of the world. Allergies, sinuses, just got me Weather's down. changing. So, yeah, I've been having, I'm a day early. Like, I always get it one day before she does. So yesterday I was like, uh, and now today she's like, uh, so, yeah. I'm just a little bit more fun to be around when I'm like, 
But that's it for us today, guys. Thanks for checking in with us. Sorry we haven't been putting out a lot of videos. We do have some other stuff coming up. Um, Stacy's got a new cookie recipe. And guess what? With fall coming, or here, I guess technically it's here for Michigan. Today's the 27th of September. So oh, yeah, it is actually technically fall now. Isn't we're it? in fall, and that means Stacy's new passion is going to be relived because I think it was last year when oh, she realized soup. that she loves soup, <laughs> which is hilarious because she never liked soup ever. She had no use for that. I remember when she was sick making her, uh, I think it was some chicken noodle soup, and all she did is ate the noodles with crackers. Like the, she has no use for the broth. Like I let a big pot of broth. I still have no use for the broth. And then the noodles and like, she just left. The I created soup. an amazing mac and cheese soup yeah. the other day. Yeah. I'll have gonna... to try to recreate it because I didn't write anything down. Yeah. So anyway, Maybe soup we'll time. Maybe we'll do a video on that. So definitely have some favorites. What is your guys' favorite soup, keto soup? Let us know in the comments below. We're going to be posting some soup videos for sure because Stacy sneaking some pumpkin chili, which my kids love chili. Uh, Morgan likes chili, so we're, we're gonna, gonna sneak some yeah. pumpkin in the stuff and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Probably be super exciting for all of us. But anyway, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hey, click the bell so you're notified when we put out new videos. When um, they come out. <laughs> when they come out. Because, you know, they're kind of scarce right now. But we're, like I said, with fall and winter and not being out doing stuff as much, we'll probably be doing more videos. Uh, cooking videos, specifically. So, make sure you click the bell so you're notified when we do put out a new one. And until next time, guys. Stay mentally healthy and stay keto as best you can. Right. And don't, don't be like Stacy. We'll see you next time. See ya. Debbie Downer. Stay mentally healthy. Gasp. See, you even disturbed Odie. Yeah, we're, we're still here. We forgot to turn the camera. Mm -hmm.